Welcome to Focus Washington. I'm Chuck Conconi, and I'm very happy today. My guest is Bob Klusak, the managing editor of the Hill newspaper. It's great to have you back here again. This is the paper that you go to when you want to hear things about what's going on and know what's going on in Washington. Well, thanks so much. A lot to write about nowadays. No well, this, this is an incredible news period. I, would, I guess we could start out very quickly with talking a little bit about the political campaign. What is happening with the Republicans? What's going to happen there? Well, we thought a lot of people were going to get in the race. You know, Chris Christie uh, was mulling it. And, and, and basically, a lot of the big names decided they're not going to jump in. And, and now Mitt Romney is doing pretty well. But you have Herman Cain, which is an incredible story. He has no money. He has no organization. And he's right there with Mitt Romney. It's just amazing. But it's sort of the flavor of the week, isn't it? I mean, every time you turn around, it's Perry. Before that, it was Bachman. Yes. And then they, they flash and then die. I mean, it's hard to see how Kane could win the nomination, um, but he doesn't have a lot of uh, foreign policy experience, but he has a slogan, he's likable, uh, he's very good on television, and, but can he withstand the attacks that are coming? Uh, I doubt it. I mean, it's just hard to see him. But is, will he become a kingmaker in, in the party? Yes. But Herman Kane's rise is good news for Romney, the base. A lot of the base doesn't like Romney. But uh, Kane has taken votes away from, from Perry, who was dipped in the polls, and Bachman. I heard one political person say that one of the reasons they like Kane so much is that he's a black man, and he can take on Obama without someone saying, oh, that's racist. Mm -hmm. Is there some reality to that? I, I do think there is some reality to that. And uh, to some degree, I think Democrats would like Herman Kane because they think that if it was Obama versus Kane, Obama would win. He would beat him in the debates. and he's. Um, but, but Herman Cain is also not a politician. He's a businessman, and there's a very much an anti-Washington fervor going on. Washington is never popular, but it's, it's popularity is an all-time low now. So that actually helps him. Now, can he win? I mean, a lot of people thought Obama couldn't win. Uh, it's possible. It's, predicting politics is so difficult. It's just hard to en envision him being the Republican nominee. But it's likely that the Republican race is settled already. It's probably going to be Romney for all practical. A business. Man, yes, a, a businessman. How the, the base embraces him or doesn't, it could be very revealing because there's still a lot of anti-Romney people, and, but, but where are they going to go? I mean, I think the party has to decide who can beat Obama, and more and more Republicans think that could be Romney. And this may be the, the time when a vice presidential candidate is the one that's going to make a difference, and so who yes. he chooses to run with him. Yes, he's got to pick a, a, a stalwart conservative, no doubt about it. He can't pick anyone who's in the middle. So I think, uh, and a lot of people think that the leading contender would be Senator Marco Rubio from, from Florida. Uh, he could bring in a lot of Hispanic votes. He's eloquent. He's a rising star. Now, Rubio said he's not going to be on the ticket, but they all say that. He can take that with a, a grain of salt. So, but a lot of Republicans are now thinking, hmm, you know, I'm not crazy about Romney, but Romney Rubio, that would be a very strong ticket. Well, what's going to happen on it, we'll shift a little bit, and it's still the political story, what's going to happen on the Hill this year? Was anything going to be accomplished, particularly as far as the economy is concerned? It's just so few things that the president and congressional Republicans agree on. They did agree on these three trade deals that just got approved. Mm -hmm. Could that be the last thing that the big that gets through this Congress? Could be. The, the big question, of course, is the super committee. Will they come up with anything? Uh, by all accounts, that they haven't made a lot of progress. and. Then, if they give those uh, recommendations or non-recommendations, depending if they're deadlocked, well, then we're at the end of the year. It's 2012, and, and, and you know, you've been around this town long enough. 2012, election year, not much moves on well, Capitol Hill. Well, yes, and, and you know, you, you can't imagine that there's any Republicans up there who are going to vote for anything that might help Obama in any way. Mm -hmm. They want to defeat him very badly. No, they do. They, they have the House. Uh, the math favors them as far as capturing control of the Senate. That'll be close. And, of course, they could win the White House. So they, there's potential that they could have all three. I mean, Harry Reid has been very frustrated. The Senate Majority Leader uh, said this week that Republicans are rooting for the economy to fail. Those are very strong words. Uh, but some Republicans feel, you know, privately, listen, we're, we've got the upper hand now. Why would we give Obama anything that he can tout in election year? Boy, this is going to be a terrible, terrible period for the next one. It's, and we're almost 13 months away yes. from the general election. It is, and it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of fireworks. I mean, it's always partisan, but now with the explosion of the internet and social media, it, this, this campaign's going to be very nasty because President Obama, he can't really talk too much about a lot of his signature accomplishments. I mean, health care reform was a huge accomplishment, but it's not that popular. The stimulus, not that popular. Sure. He's got to talk about the future, his vision, and his jobs plan, 
and, and run against Congress, and he's got to go negative on whoever the nominee is. Well, I shouldn't have saved this for the last question because we're running out of time, but the whole thing about the economy and jobs seems to be just teetering there and that nothing is really going to happen. Right. I, I don't think so. I, th I think it's just they lay out their plans. This is how I would create jobs, and this is how I would create jobs. And then they just, it's a message battle throughout 2012. Voters may get tired of it, but, but not a lot is going to get done between now and then. Bob, thank you so much for being here. Bob Cusack of The Hill Paper. And we'll, we'll do this again Absolutely. soon. Absolutely. I'm you. Chuck and Coney, and this has been Focus Washington.